Welcome back everyone. Let's get involved again with me on Mushroom Fleet. So if you're watching this live, it's Twitch TV slash Mushroom Fleet. There'll be uh this will be going up on YouTube and Rumble, I think. Might get some clips in some other places. But I just wanted to go through a few things. So yeah, just like usual. First thing we're gonna do is look at something that we can all do. I mean obviously we've covered mid journey. Uh, you can obviously go and use that. There's a bot for that on Discord. If you come to our Discord and you're a paid a paid user, you can come into our mid-journey area, create a thread thread in the back, back rooms, and there'll be a bunch of stuff there that you can check out. There's a few people in there, mostly me and Jath. But yeah, today what I want to do is, as I said at the end of the last video, we're going to take a look at collage. First thing we'll look at though is Night Cafe. So this is creator.nightcafe.studio. And we're going to run the same prompt because this is a great way to show you. I mean, you get free credits every day. Look at this. I get another five free credits. Awesome. So I'm going to use that. Go on the stable. And I'm going to use the same prompt. We're going to use the same prompt all day today. A cute bunny rabbit in the jungle. Could have modifiers. I'm going to keep it simple. You can spend a lot of time on this. Obviously, the way they do it here is if you want to have more images, which I do, I'll say, yeah, okay, I'll have two. Okay, for two credits, you get the credits, okay. Seed, sampler, prompt weight. There's lots of other stuff we can do. We can make it overcook. We can go for a big image, but we can do that separately afterwards if we want. Like I, I like go with the little one and then take the ones I like. So we'll go with create. And this is real easy. You don't need to install anything. You don't need to... Uh, do anything really so let's see it's running and then uh, as soon as we've had a look at that because it's just the idea of what is it that we're doing here we're saying i want a cute bunny rabbit in the jungle and this is what we got so let's go and check that out nice now let's see which is the one i i reckon this one's i like that one this one's cool but it's got like one ear is a bit is back i guess this one's pretty good but the head's a bit of a weird shape isn't it that's a bit mouthful. I think that's the best one. So I think I'm going to duplicate it and one image and we'll go for, what do you mean not recommended? We'll go for high res. Usually worse. Okay, fine. Just do 640. Okay, right. So it's going to make me a big version and I'll save that. And that'll come in handy later. Because we're going to go through various levels of complexity. I'm not going to cover anything like uh, installing lo locally and stuff. Because you can find tutorials on that. I just want to show you a couple of things. It's like how you want to go, oh, toe deep, foot in the pool, shallow end, deep end, swimming in the ocean. That's local. We're not going to go that far. So this is stuff that you could probably do on your phone. Like you can go to this website and you can do this on your phone. So there we go. We've got ourselves a... Uh, 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 Cute bunny rabbit. So I'm going to save that. Download the image. There we go. Cool. So now we're going to go into Art Breeder. This is my old project. So let me just get rid of that. So Art Breeder is a collage. I wanted to tell you all about this, but um, it wasn't ready yet. So we just got that bunny rabbit, right? So if I just drag the bunny rabbit that we just made in like that. Now, it's not a com composition tool. So, you know, uh, that's not what I'm going to do. Whoops. I am going to do, so I am going to try something. I'll put my bunny rabbit here. Because I don't think it's going to, it doesn't really like composite like that. And let's just find some cool, there's a cool, cool background. Right. And then uh, put it back. I want the bunny on top, please. So this isn't this isn't <laughs> this isn't what it's for, but I just want to try something here myself. There we go. Put the bunny there. Let's make the let's make the bunny bigger. Where is it? Like that. And then we use the cut tool, just snip. Just click and drag to the edges. Uh, 
and I'll do and then we'll use that to click and delete the bits we don't want okay right and then a cute bunny rabbit in the jungle let's go I don't know what it's going to do and in a minute we'll do it a different way because I'm just throwing stuff I've already got ready so let's see what it does this technology has moved on a long way when it started out in June or May or June when they started publicly going. It wasn't things were, you know, eyes, noses, mouths, terrible. But it's almost sorted all that out now. We'll take a quick look at all. Oh, my. <laughs> yeah, let's. Uh... That was a bit twisted, wasn't it? Oh, man, that was funny. But like I said, these tools are new. Uh, sometimes what they're trying to do is give you something, uh, take an abstract. We're giving it something quite realistic. We should be giving it something quite abstract. I'll do that in a minute. I just wanted to see what this will do first. What's it going to do? Ah! <laughs> okay. So, yeah, you get the idea. So what I did was I put two, two things together and it's it's tried its best. And you could keep re-rolling. But for the sake of this uh, demo. So now what we'll do is we'll just literally draw some shapes. So let's go with that. No, 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 no. Let's see. We we'll want to go a body like that and then a sort of head. And then I want to get a different sort of thing going on. And then we'll change it again and sort of. Oh man, it looks like a duck. <laughs> yeah. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, abstract noise. Let's go. If it manages to do anything with that, well, there we go. Just just feeling dead air while I wait for the AI to mm. Dude. So the moral of this story is this, it works better with a bit of noise. Okay, cool. So let's re-roll it. See if it can get another one out of my blue duck thing. It looks like a duck to me. but It's like a duck cat. <laughs> and obviously using more colors, it's going to do different things. Like you could have put a big... In fact, I'll do it in a second. Uh, oh, what have we got? See, that's pretty good. I'm going to save that. I should have saved the last one as well. So if I go back here, right, I'm going to make a new green layer. I'm just going to go like that and then put it down at the bottom. You tell, I think you can tell what I'm going to do here. Okay, let's see. And then, yeah, we'll go with purple. There. In fact, to put the green on top, and then finally, because you know art, artism, we've got, we've got we've got we've got something up there. All right. Now it says we're in the jungle. So what colors have I got left? Red, blue, yellow. So what about if I made some like? Something like some sort of, I don't know, leafy type stuff. Probably not going to work, but we'll give it a go. <laughs> it looked like, it looked like uh, knickknacks or twiglets or something.
It's probably silly, but let's go. I'm hoping for ground sky trees, but it might just turn into bones or something. I. Right. <laughs> Oh, hey, look at that. It worked 100. Well, he's got one ear now, though. But hey, man, you know, so yeah, this is pretty cool. So yeah, I just wanted to show you this because like anyone can use this. I'm pretty sure you could use either of these on your phone. OK, sure. It's not as good as that. Um, But like you're just drawing abstract textures in different colors and then it's going to give you pretty much what you asked for. So. Hey, if you spend more time in this, you probably get better results. You can upscale them or feed them into something. Oh, I do like that. Uh, hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you get extra limbs. You do this one. Oh, may as well show you what things were like a few months ago. So, yeah, let's see what we would have got a few months ago slower and lower quality a bit of a weird stomach going on here but yeah that's you know that's pretty cool before and after save it All right. okay so i'll put the links in the description of the video so if you want to give this one a try it's going to be artbreeder.com beta collage i'm guessing they'll drop the beta eventually um also you got creator.nightcafe.studio um the stable beta is the one you want to check out because that's the new one right obviously crayon is the old stuff this will take a while but it'll get there uh next thing we're going to look at is uh, google collab right so i'm already working on something here in a different one so i'm just going to stop that real quick it's been running for an hour okay so let's just Disconnect that. Oops. I want to save that. That's a cool one. I'm working on some bio weapons. <laughs> Don't mind the spaceship taking off outside. It won't be. It'll be gone in a minute. Okay. So on our Discord, which you can join, we've got a thread running where. I'm putting in links to all these different things you can try out. Okay. But also some collabs. Now collabs are put up by people, so they won't be, they probably won't be there forever. And they will be updated. So where possible, I've tried to give the link to the original, not a copy, where I could. And we're going to be checking out uh, an, like an introductory one today, which is a simplified at stable diffusion light. Now, there's a few things that you'll have to do to get this working. It's actually pretty simple. Um, you're going to need four to eight gigabytes of free space on a Google Drive. So use a fresh account if you want. But if you've got like, you know, if you pay for the extra storage, it's like a dollar a month, like two dollars a month. then you won't even notice. You have to get that from Hugging Face. We've got to get the checkpoint. Um, I'll put the link for this in the description. You effectively have to agree to the terms, say, yes, I agree. Um, you just need to have an account on the same email address, and you can agree, and then it will actually let you download it. So there's a link here where you can download the file. Uh, you then put it into your Google Drive, and everyone uses the same structure. So if you use the same structure, you're good. So I think it's AI capitals then models. And then you can put your checkpoints here. I've got my full version there, but I'll be honest, I haven't used this as much. Most of the time I've just been using this one, mostly because I don't know how to take advantage of this properly. So I've just been, I've been using this one, which gets great results. And 1.5 is just around the corner, I think. So, um, you also need the V1 inference, but you can copy all of that. There's, there's guides on this sort of thing. So anyway. You download these, you put them there, and as long as they're in that path, you won't need to keep downloading it all the time. It'll be, it'll use the one on your drive. So anyway, once you click on the uh, collab, you can use this for free, but you only get a few hours a day, I think. So you've got to be careful what you're doing. 
but uh, this one's pretty safe to run. I find you should probably stick to under 768 by 768 because you'll be pushing the VRAM on the card that they're giving you. They're effectively going to give you a, a really nice GPU to run this on. It's really easy to run this, but I, I, I've never even run this particular one. We've got so many collabs. I use a slightly different one, but I'm going to do a special video on this one because it's so good. It has image to image randomization, all kinds of stuff, but it's uh, taking steps. We'll get there. So basically, once you've managed to get this sorted out, you need any help, come on our Discord help and just ask. But yeah, you need to have downloaded the checkpoints, which means you have to agree here. Put it in the, in the right location. And then most of these notebook, notebooks together, they're going to look in the same place. Okay. All right. So first thing we're going to do, we're just going to run through this. So yeah, run it. If you're paranoid, feel free to check all the code. So it takes a few minutes to get this set up, but essentially you just click go. Now you can go run all, but I would recommend the first time you do it to just click go once and then each step until you're like happy with how it works. No real reason. It's just nice to know what you're doing. So right now it's going to mount. I just allowed the uh, permission for mounting my Google Drive. That's really useful because, like I said, if I go back to my Google Drive here, I've got inner images. So I've got all my 768 by 768 uh, crops and resizes, all my video outputs that I've done, or sorry, video inputs that I use. Um, these are all image inputs. So like, for example, if I go into this one, I got some MJ, mid, got some mid journey work, and then uh, that's going to get fed in. So anyway, that's for a different project, but yeah, you get the idea. You can put folders of images or videos, and then you can feed them in to different, uh, different ones. And then obviously your outputs are going to get saved straight here as well. They'll usually be in stable diffusion, or it looks like this one just created something called stable. So I bet we'll get some stuff in there in a minute. So if we go back to the notepad. Oh, let's see what Crayon did. Uh, do you know what? They're not, they're not too bad. I mean, this is, this is quite old now. Uh, but yeah, they're not too bad, are they? Not as good as that, though, is it? See, this is the thing. Spend some time on these things. They look really good now. Anyway, so let's do the installation. We've mounted our Google Drive and prepared the folders. So now it's going to run this. It's a, it's a bit like a virtual machine, like you get like a little virtual server, which is just doing this for you. Um, it's going to do everything. Did it tell us what card we have yet? Let's have a look here. Check Jeep. We got a Tesla P100, 16 gig. Pretty slick. Uh, like I said, my um, model is already in the right place. And it should be named the same. SDV1 dash. Yeah, I think so. So I'm going to do that. You can do that, look. And then it will just go straight to it as soon as this is finished. Because you can just go runtime, run all. But I like to get it down. Whoops. What would it just do? Did it just create a new thing? Yeah, it did. Do that. Right. It could have just broken everything there, guys. I think I accidentally clicked on that. Okay. K diffusion. Because look at all the things that are going on. We've got taming transformers. We've got clip. We've got K diffusion. What else have we got? Then there's stable diffusion there. Resize right. Tokenizers. There's so much stuff. So much stuff actually going on. Um, and if you're watching this and you made this, thank you very much. Probably not, but you know, you never know. So we've already got our cute bunny in the jungle. So I'm going to say uh, bunny jungle. A cute bunny rabbit in the jungle. Okay. Now we could use an init image. So actually, do you know what? Uh, let me just go and get the image 
So if I just right click, copy image address, I can put that there, paste that in. Show, take that off. That should work. So let's just double check that. I'm pretty sure it will, but you never know. Yeah, there we go. God knows, this probably should resize it to 768. Uh, I think it was 640. Oh, it's WebP, so. Okay, in its strength 0.4. I find that's a good, a good number. That's what I use on my other sheet. 50 is probably good. Let me see. What do I use on mine here? I use 150, but it's a different. I'm using KLMS over here. So this one's probably, what's it using? Does it actually tell me? It doesn't tell me. Well, it did say it was the light version. This one has prompt queuing and seed mining, which you can use to run multiple prompts or run the same seed through different prompts. So there's loads of different ways you can look for good numbers. Uh, do we have a seed number? Where is, where is it? Do we have a seed on here or is it just separate? Yeah, it is. You have to put it. You have to put it in here. Uh, can we show it? There we go. Okay, we won't use that for now. All right. I find the seeds are actually really important. So if you get like a good seed, keep it in a list. They're almost more powerful than changing artist names. If you want to mix artist names, which is another thing you can do, which I haven't done. Um. So, doo -doo -doo, where are we? We've done that, so it's time to run the thing. Let's run the thing. And with any luck, we'll actually have an image. Ooh, there we go, it's running. It's going to give me three images. Is that three images at a time? Or just three images? I don't know. Oh, one. So that's the guide image. And we're just using the same. We haven't changed anything. So it should just give us three bunnies, which it has. All right. <laughs> okay, cool. So let's save that last one. Now, I mean, you know, this is pretty, pretty basic. So. How about if I said something else, um, you know, I could say, I don't know, I could say a photo of a cute bunny, but then I could say by uh, Craig Mullins in the jungle, in the deep, in the deep, where's my dog sneezing, <laughs> in Intricate is a good good word. Intricate detail. Intricate, no, inter, intricate jungle details. By, and I like Yogi Benkawa. All right. And this time we'll go with four images. Hopefully it won't kill everyone in the, you know, global, global warming, guys. No, it's going to be fine. Okay. Now. Should get something a bit different. Eh, that was so different. But it's subtle. Actually looks more photorealistic. I don't know what the next one's going to be. Oh! That one had an accident. <laughs> that one's actually really good. I like that one. One more. That one's really good. Whoops. Okay. Now, obviously, these are small. We can run them through an upscaler, but I'm not going to cover that. I just thought it would be interesting to show you. You could run this on your phone, Night Cafe. You can run this on your phone, Art Breeder, Collage. You can run, in, you can run this on your phone, Crayon. And they're all, well, they're not all 100% free. There's sometimes credits, but you get free credits and yada yada. Um, 
I'm, I do pay for collab because I think it's worth it. Uh, it's only ten dollars a month for the basic tier, which is pretty cheap. Um, but you can still use it on the free version. Just don't do don't do big jobs. Um, and there are plenty of other collabs which we'll be covering in the future. So yeah, there's going to be more of these sort of short tutorials with little. I'll always try to mix it up. So at the beginning, we'll always try to have um, something that you can just try out. I can't always promise that it will be something you can do on your phone, but increasingly things are getting easier to do with a higher standard of output. So it's like, I think it's going that way. Apparently, Stable Diffusion will run on an M1 CPU now, which is insane. That means you don't even actually need a GPU to run it locally, which is just insane. Um, and like I say, uh, what we just did was we... Uh, Went on to a Google Colab, got it all set up, chucked our prompt in. Uh, just so you know, where is where are my images? You don't have to download them because they will be in the stable. No, they won't. Should be in there. Stable diffusion. Images out. Honey jungle. There we go. There we go, and there's all my images, and you can just download them all as a zip. I like that last one. I mean, just to compare that with that. See, this looks a bit too felty around the ears, and the 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 soft focus in the background is a bit. It doesn't it doesn't look right. The focus is a bit wrong, and this one it looks a bit better. And definitely the hair on the ears is better. It's still not perfect, but it's a damn sight closer. And um, like I said, what I've been using it for lately is I've been taking mid-journey stuff. So uh, give an example real quick. I go into my Jungle Punk project. We made... Yeah, can we go full screen please that's too big there we go yeah so we made these okay. we made these with mid journey with quite a nice prompt and evolving them and doing a few tricks so i started off making them as ink paintings or ink drawings rather and then uh mutated those into uh, a cgi render style and uh we end up with this sort of a bit of a mess but the noise plays really nicely when you start doing image to image um so there we go so there's a few of those you can see what what i had to work with so then what i've done is i've resized these to 768 and then i've thrown them into the stable diffusion let me actually go to the right folder here because it doesn't feel like it's what's it doing we've got like three stable folders now Anyway, uh, Jungle Rabbit. So this is the Jungle Rabbit. Was it Jungle Rabbit? There we go. So what? Yeah, that's good enough. So what you can see here was these are rendered in the same style as everything else. So obviously they're not all amazing, but what I wanted was giant killer robot rabbits. For my post-apocalyptic jungle world um and they look pretty good you know and they'll fit in this sort of world that i've built but i wanted to see what would happen if i added some randomized prompts and i'll show you how i did that in just a second so obviously i have a folder full of those uh, mj images and then this is the outputs so this is going so you've taken mid journey as an ink you've draw you've generated ink you've variated through and discarded the bad images taken those good images and then evolved those into a new art style a cgi render and then you take those and evolve those and you get them out and you take the best of those put them into here and i'll show you the prompt that i used and everything in a minute so yeah full screen here a little bit bigger a little bit bigger so these are really nice, and I'll definitely, definitely, definitely be using them. They're awesome. 
but they're amazing. By ripping a page out of the nightmares, I thought uh, someone else inspired me to use the cute bunnies. And I wanted them to be some kind of reason why man is now living in the trees. So, yeah, that's... I'm not going to spoil it too much, you know. I got plenty of these. So, anyway. How did I do it? Like I said. Uh, convoluted, complex mid-journey. Take, take your images, however you make them. Whatever your recipe is. And then we're going to use John Lindquist's Stable Diffusion Batch Randomizer. The link is it's in here somewhere i'm sure of it there it is 1.0 stable diffuse in it. yep okay the difference with this one is you actually get a a sheet okay and you can copy that sheet and then use your own link so what will happen is you can write your own randomized list of keywords which you'll put into the prompt um, and then once you find a good seed, you can lock down the prompt and um, get the aesthetic that you really want. And then you can use those images. Works with photos as well. I took some pictures of myself and my house and all kinds of things and ran them through a few prompts. And it comes out really well. Uh, you just got to remember to resize and crop the images to get the best out of it. So that would be me saying yes to the Google Drive and the Google spreadsheets. I should probably disconnect from this one. You can't do that unless you're paying. I should uh, 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 should be a good boy. Be nice to the uh, thing. All right. So I'll show you the spreadsheet real quick. Let me just uh, pull that over. Uh, So most of these already came. All I've done is changed them a few times. So I got a couple versions. So uh, if you use the word in curly brackets, it'll iterate through these. So it saves you having to go in and change the prompt all the time. Uh, I tend to use like artist names that I like in a rotation so that it'll kind of decide what's going on. I also like to use my locations. Um, when I was doing cars, I didn't actually name the car type. I just named the body kit and then it just figured it out because, yeah, that works well. And then I also did like a modular village type deal. I think that's what this one was for. So I did town and uh, prefecture, structure type, that kind of thing. Um, so I did, added a few things here and there, but a lot of this already came with. So I just cloned it, changed a few things, and then you just take the, you don't need to get the public link, you can just take that link. Get rid of that. Okay, load stable diffusion. As you can see, they all use the same path, so you only have to put it on your drive once, which is nice. And then right here we've got the project name, which will be the folder that it puts the folders to, how many images, the image size. I've matched that to my input image. And then I leave everything else alone because you don't need to change anything. You can use minus one when you're rat, uh, doing seed mining. If you find you're in a bad spot, just stop it and start again because it will give you a completely random number. It tends to go sequentially through the seed numbers. Um, so like if you find a good seed number, I tend to subtract like... I don't know it's, if I've got 40 images, I'll like take 20 off. So it'll hit the good seed I found right in the middle of the set. Um, Cause it's like advancing through. It's more like a range where it will start from when you choose to fix it, but it works great. And once you find a good seed, like this seed is nice. Feel free to copy it. Um, it tends to work really well. I mean, when you find a good seed, they tend to work really well with a lot of prompts. So, and then, like I say, here we go. We put our link for our Google Sheet. And then we put our link for our drive. The only thing you might need there is the content slash G drive, my drive. But to be honest, you've got a clue, if you didn't know what that was, right here. So, in it, images bunny. So that'll be all the bunnies I made with Mid Journey. Uh, you can make in it. 
variants so we could have it slide back and forth with the strength of the image versus the prompt and then we have a base width I think it'll automatically do it, but I tend to do it manually anyway, just in case I want to use these images with a different collab uh, that doesn't do that. And then here we have an example of what I've done here. So I've got a photo of a massive scale because I wanted the bunny to be quite big compared to its environment. Um, emotion, so a random emotion. Sometimes it's happy, sometimes it's sad, and that'll be conveyed in the image slightly. A cute fluffy rabbit and then cthulhu because that's just a great keyword for a sort of horror scape and for a sort of mutation of itself rank which is one of my random ones it's just like captain priest yeah you know, i've got a list uh with glowing red eyes horror summer horror summer is a list of names like eldritch lovecraftian things like that uh, by artist Sam Current, so that'll be a short list of some of my favourite artists, and then artist Sam Two, another short list in a different order. Underscore Current is something you can put to make it go in order rather than be random through your list. Jungle Punk, because that's the theme. Craig Mullins, because I I made all, I I sort of used him for that a lot. So I like the way he draws the leaves and the trees. Uh cinematic lighting epic composition these are things that work great in stable um photography again probably don't need that but intricately detailed jungle plants and then bite here masa agura when i was doing mining i found that that was the aesthetic that worked the best i went through lots <laughs> when i was mining when i was tech chest that was all random as well um but yeah I think we're ready to, to go. Let's go. And hopefully it'll just work. Okay. So. Save failed. Oh, no. That's not good. Uh, yep. It's running. So these ones are pretty big. So they take about a minute 40. What's this? This file was updated remotely. We're in another tab. Maybe it was me. Maybe I opened it by accident somewhere. I don't know. Uh, but anyway. So yeah, that's pretty much everything I had to show you. Um, there's going to be more videos like this. But I'm not going to do loads of videos. I'm just going to do a short video. Well, I don't know if this is really short. Videos like this where you get to do some stuff it's like get involved basically is the whole theme um i'll be releasing other videos which are just like you know show reels i guess of some of the work i've been doing other than that thanks for watching and i'll see you next time